Hello, Ellen. You wanted to know how to go about, uh, how I would go about fixing this. I uh, just put, cut and pasted this into Touch Retouch. Um, I hope I'm taking, getting rid of the things that you want to get rid of, but the way you're going to get rid of this is with a clone stamp. Now, I have a clear tip stylus. I can send you a picture of it. I have it from Fenty. It's uh, worth every penny. You can usually get them for six or seven, less than $10 on eBay. Just the, probably can get them on Amazon too. Just the greatest thing since sliced bread. This way you don't have to use their magnifiers and stuff like that. Um, actually, I think that's in Superimpose and Superimpose X. But here's the, how the clone stamp works. It's real tricky. Um, the, the trick is what, you, what you're gonna do is you're going to set your brush correctly and you're going to take from an area, and now no one taught me how to do this. I figured out how it was working on my own. It was kind of a pain. It's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, I can almost do this quicker and easier with Superimpose X, but I would have to show you how to use Superimpose X, which I think is worth learning. But let me uh, see if I can get this done in... Um, in uh, touch retouch just using the clone stamp so I'm going to touch the clone stamp here and you see that there's a brush and there's which is what I'm going to be using now and uh, there are settings now if you see there's a circle right in the middle there what you're going to do is you're going to move that circle to where you want to copy things now I'm moving it down to an area that's going to be kind of similar in color with other things not, with no other things around and you'll look, I, I'll I'll do it wrong one time so you can see why you have to do it but I don't really want to do it wrong on I want to really just get it right right from the start but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do settings I need to make a pretty small brush and the hardness, now if you move the hardness all the way over, you see that it's got a really sharp edge, much as the hardness, you kind of want it to be a little bit like that. The opacity is how much it's going to cover. You want that to be pretty, uh, the higher the opacity, the more it's going to cover what it is you're trying to cover. Now, what I'm going to do is, do you see where now the circle has come up? That's what I'm going to be cloning. Okay, that's what I'm going to be copying. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to increase, I'm going to use my tuck, pinch and zoom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in this spot right here. And do you see me moving it up? And it's taking that away. See how nicely that worked? Now, what you may not realize is that it kind of... Um, it was actually moving that little well you're watching what i'm doing watch what uh watch it again and you'll see this little white circle moving so it's still in a good place so i'm going to i'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller because i need to get a little bit more detail in there and you'll see oh the magnifier did come on anyway see me going over there by that little spot and then I'm coming up here and it's always a good idea to do a little at a time so if it doesn't work you can always undo it up there but so far it's going pretty well so I'm going to do it again oops yep it didn't do that do you know what it, why it did that it copied white do you see why because that little white circle now went up to the white I don't know why it did that it moved so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start a, um, this won't un undo what I've done, but sometimes you have to do this, hit the left arrow and hit clone stamp again. And that lets me re resituate where this white circle is that I'm going to be cloning. So I've moved it down there. I will do it wrong and I'll, I'll uh, in a minute and I'll show you how you fix that. But I want to go back up and fix this little spot right here. So I go up here and I get that little spot. Problem is you want to get kind of a similar color. I don't know if I've got a similar enough color yet. Ah, pretty close. 
and I might want to get a little bit more hard. Let me zoom in here and see how it's looking. Let me get a little bit more in here. Kind of up to you how much you want to do it. Now, I kind of kind of made that too soft. I probably should redo that one. This is one thing that you'll learn is when you undo, do little pieces at a time so that you, when you get something the way you want it, you don't have to redo it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix just that little bit up there. You'll see just how fussy I am. i got to make the size of my brush really small. And I'm not even sure where my circle is. See my little white circle? It's really small. And I'm going to go up here and see the magnifier. This is just how tedious I am when I do my own stuff. Fairly good. I could go in here and get this a little bit better. Depends on how much you want to do. There's that clone stamp. I think we got it. Depends on how much you want to do to get the colors all to match. See what I'm doing? Okay. Now, let's go and tackle. Let's go out of there because I've accidentally made a blown clone stamp when I didn't want to. This one right here, uh, this bulb, I don't know if you want that bulb there or not, but I'm going to show you how to uh, do that. And so I hit the clone stamp again. Again, I want the brush. I'm going to look at my settings. I definitely want a bigger brush at this point. Um, I'm going to keep the hardness pretty low at the moment. Um, the problem is, I'm going to have to... You see where the circle is? I want to move that circle to perhaps some place where the color is going to be similar and is not going to run into any other color because see as that circle as we make i'm going to go in here and i'm going to show you as i go through here you see what happened it came down into what it actually reproduced let me redo that and i'll show you what we did wrong by putting it there and moving down, look where this little white circle is coming. It's coming, and now that white circle is going to hit that bulb. And what it did is it cloned that bulb. Do you see that? That's not what you want, so you hit that. And so what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to move that into another part. And now I'm going to do it, and you see it moves. A lot better now one of the things that I have to do now is I've got a sharper edge along that white orchid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my hardness a lot harder and I'm probably going to make my brush a little softer I mean smaller and there's where my clone that's what I'm going to be cloning so that's good it's still kind of hard because you got to get this just right. And there. Look at the magnifier. I probably could do that a little bit better, but... It's hard like that. It's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to get it right, but I think that looks natural enough. And that's how I do it. I always get out a clone stamp so that whenever I do this. I think that was what you had in mind. If it isn't, uh, at least maybe you've got the tools now to be able to fix it yourself. So I hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye-bye.